what's up you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Cindy Siwe if you're new on my channel this channel is about self-care and food and if these two topics sounds like something you might be interested in please go ahead hit that subscribe button and be proud of the family I also want to take this time to thank everyone else that's already subscribed to my channel thank you so much you guys for commenting liking my videos and sharing my stuff I really really appreciate you so today's video is actually a get to know me tag whereby I'll just be answering some questions that I got off social media mainly Facebook and you know some few questions via whatsapp I don't know if some of you use whatsapp or not but I use the lot the first question is what do you fear most in life I think my biggest fear is losing my mom honestly like I don't know how that day is gonna be but I, I also don't want to imagine I don't want to know you know it really scares me like that's my biggest fear I don't know about you all like you know I feel like losing your parents or just one of your parents is like one of the biggest losses anybody can ever have you know I'm really scared I don't want that day to come anytime soon so yeah the second question is <laughs> this one is a bit crazy but yeah is are you in a relationship um yeah I know <laughs> I'm playing I'm not in a relationship right now actually so that's what's uh, nice so if you're watching me you're a guy you're trying to shoot your shot please do so I'm available and yeah I like to know more about other people out there who maybe might be interested in me DM me on Insta you know what I mean text me on whatever I said I don't know but you know shoot your shot just shoot your shot the third question is if you had power to bring back someone to life who would it be uh, I think this question is actually really really important for me um, I think it would be my grandpa on my mom's side because I know when my grandpa died like mom really got depressed and not only that I know she really misses him because um, yeah you know just losing a parent as I explained earlier it's really hard um, also I never got to have a relationship with my grandpa because I was really really young that time yeah I never got to meet him and you know just to get to know him I was really young I think the memories that I had I don't know if I ever got to meet him like I was really young when my grandpa passed away so I think yeah if I had the power to bring somebody back to life it would be my grandpa so like yeah maybe getting to know him again and stuff so the fourth question is what's your favorite animal mm, i think my favorite animal is a giraffe like i like giraffes they are so unique and they're so cute i, I like their like you know um skin i guess just so beautiful and their height everything about giraffes is so unique like you see other animals like you know they look kind of they, they have a lot of similarities but the giraffe is just its own animal i don't know it eats from the top it doesn't eat from the ground like all different stuff just make me like the giraffe even more you know it's when do you intend to get married <laughs> oh my goodness this question is so funny <laughs> um i actually don't even think about marriage like that okay like i respect people who like yeah who are married and i respect some people who are of my age who decide to get married but here is my thing here is my take on marriage i'm just not gonna get married whilst i'm poor that's just one thing i've decided i told myself that like you know what i mean i'm still poor i can't even afford like stuff uh I'll probably, if i had a kid let's say in the next three years or something or maybe i just i'm just married i don't even have a kid i don't think i can even afford to go on a vacation you know what i mean like to go on a one month vacation you know without being in debt like i don't wanna be married whilst i'm poor i wanna at least try to bring together something for myself and obviously for my family so i'm not thinking about marriage anytime soon that's the answer so yeah <laughs> which high school did you go to uh i went to hillcrest national technical high school that time yeah it was like a high school but now they made it into a secondary school i guess yeah it was like 10th grade to 12th grade when i started in 10th 
in my 10th grade but now they added like eighth graders and ninth graders so that makes it a secondary school so yeah i went to hillcrest technical school what's your idea of an ideal man um uh, honestly i feel like i've created this man in my head like i don't know i just feel like see if i put someone over here, guys <laughs> Probably that's the reason I don't even want like being in relationships, Chad. I just like being single in a man. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel like a man needs to be respectful. Yeah, he needs to be hardworking. Two thousand years later. Yeah, he needs to be somebody who's gonna understand me, love me, and all that. And a lot of men nowadays, they can't even do that. They can't even. Oh my goodness, I can't. I can't. Men, men. I, Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't talk to me about men. But anyways, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your family. So I have four siblings, two older sisters, and two baby brothers. Yeah, basically. And I was born and raised in Chipata. I only came to the U.S. for school in 20... Mm, oh goodness this is really bad when did i come to the us like for school in 2017 <laughs> uh, yeah i came to the us for school in 2017 on august 13. yeah that's the time i came to the US. so i was born and raised in chipata who inspires you um i think my mom inspires me she's a very hard working woman like a lot of stuff that i done in my life i feel like most of my strength came from my mom like she encourages me a lot and not only that i've seen how she's you know a very focused woman and i think i've just grown to follow her steps yeah i really love her my mama for me the next question is what is your toxic trait okay so my toxic trait mm, <laughs> It's really hard to think about the bad stuff about yourself because everybody thinks like they are perfect so I'm playing I think I know my toxic trait my toxic trait is like when somebody texts me uh, I'm most likely like I'll see the message from the notification I'm like mm, this doesn't really look like it's very important like I don't need to respond right there and then then maybe I respond two days later or three days later you know what I mean yeah so I think it's really bad but I'm working on it I will try by all means when I get a minute to respond to people sometimes it's not even like I don't have anything against you like we can even be besties even my best friend like I do that to her like she texts me then I'm just like oh, I don't think this is really important <laughs> But you know what I mean? I still respond to her anyway, but I mostly take long to respond to people. So yeah, but I'm working on that. Yeah, I'll get better at that. I'll start responding at least after two hours or an hour to everybody. So I should, I should, I'll be working on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh next question is saying apart from zambian food which other food do you like okay i think that's really hard um because i like a lot of foods that aren't from my country yeah but i think indian cuisine is the food that i really like the most outside zambian food that indian cuisine the best uh next question is who does your makeup i do my own makeup like you know i don't have a makeup artist i'm not that lucky to have somebody to do my makeup so i hope this is not a shot at me because don't tell me my makeup is bad okay because i try i try i try my best but you know it looks okay it's not that bad so yeah but i do my own makeup yeah next question is uh when are you graduating um i'm gonna be done with school in may next year 2021 yeah when are you coming home mm -hmm. guys that question name guys get that up my ticket in my mind i'm taking a ticket to us can end up with hey i want you know what i've been wanting to come home but money issues like money issues are really really a big thing but i don't know but i'll come home probably after i graduate for a little bit yeah or maybe i might come permanently who knows 
you know nobody knows what tomorrow might bring so let me just say i'll come home whenever ah the last question is who's your celebrity crush <laughs> Okay, this one is one of the easiest questions. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know who my celebrity crush is, you know? Or if you are like just friends with me in real life, my celebrity crush is Trevanta Rhodes. If you know the guy that starred in Bird Box, that's my celebrity crush, like that man, that man. I like that man. Okay, this brings us to the end of this get to know me tag. Thank you so much you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment down below and turn on the bell so that you should be the first person to see my next video. Bye!